Since the war started until now, I have been working non-stop, 24 hours, all the days. But it's really, really difficult. I haven't seen this, this kind of injury and this severity of injury in the previous wars. There are major cases and all the cases include burns. Can you imagine to receive 100 cases or 200 cases a day, sometimes 500 injured patients a day? And the problem now is, is become more difficult because the other hospitals have been evacuated. All the patients came to us. The cases that we see, they are the majority of patients, they are uh, female and children. But what hurt me a lot when I see a child, an, an innocent child, injured, and uh, he needs a major surgery, he lost his limb, and he's the last child, he's the only remnant of his family. And when he woke up from anesthesia, he asked to see his family. So this is really a heartbreaking situation. The difficulties that we face here is the lack of supplies, the lack of instruments. So the hospital, if, if, he, if no, in normal days he, he ha, there's um, 300 patients, now it's more than 1,000 patients. The patient, they are homeless because many of them are refugees within Gaza and the other people, they have uh, their houses were destroyed. They don't have the access to potable water. They, they, there's a lack of food, a lack of extremity. And some of them just get out from their houses with, with their, the clothes that they are, they are wearing. We know that we are in danger, in danger anytime, but we will keep doing the same.